All right, welcome back. Our recipe this week is for all of you meat and potato purists out there. Mm. This recipe is called meat and potatoes. That's pretty good. <laughs> and we found it on wellplated.com. And best of all, you make it all in one pan. Here we go. Yeah. I'm dumping this, which is uh, a, a pound. A ground beef. Yep. Ground beef, a pound of ground beef into, uh, we've, saute we've sauteed the potatoes already. They've been cooking for about 10 minutes mm -hmm. and they're nice and golden brown. They're cut up potatoes. And now we're just going to add the beef. Okay. So you're going to add the beef and brown it. And I'm going to chop an onion, which I will add to the ground beef. Don't and cry. we know how to chop an onion the right way, right? Do not. Oh my God. Okay, you just scared. Right. Sorry. Don't worry. I won't make you cry. <laughs> um, I, I have to say, it does smell absolutely amazing in here. Doesn't it smell good? Is this it, Beck? These That's are the, the spices. spices. Yep. Uh, but I think you have to add the spices, it says, once the peppers are in. Do you add the... Okay. So put this... These are all the spices that we're going to use. All right. So those spices are smoked paprika, garlic powder, dried oregano, salt, and also ground black pepper. A little concoction there. Because the thing about meat and potatoes is it's very bland. So it's all about trying to add a little bit more flavor, and our producer Becky said that kind of zhuzhing it up a little bit. Yeah, we're zhuzhing. Mm-hmm. All right, I think I finally peeled this. Okay. I'm the browner. I'm browning the beef. And I'm the chopper. Chopper. Get to the chopper. All right. How was your weekend? It was great, thank you. We had a lot of beach time. We had oh, family that's so visiting. Good. Did the weather cooperate? It did. You actually warned me. You told me oh, that it wasn't going to be absolutely horrible, that we'd get some beach time in both days, which we did. So thank you very much. You are so welcome. Um, but I will say, on Friday, was it Friday night? Yeah. No, Saturday night. Okay. It looked a little dicey, all the storms that you guys were experiencing up this way. Yeah. And we saw this huge line in the clouds. It literally separated the blue. From, from the, the dark skies, yeah, and it passed us, and it went north. We were so lucky. All right, I'm adding peppers. These are diced peppers, orange and red bell peppers. I love the color. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. All right, I'm going to get those onions to do you. Hold on one sec. How was your weekend? It was, uh, what did I do? You rested, right? I rested. A bit? My, yeah. Rested my back. Yeah, and you're feeling better. Uh, I went to Salute. Oh, how was that? For lunch on Sunday. It was oh, nice. very good. Uh, Saturday. Saturday we went. They were doing a business, too. I was very happy for them. Good. I know. That's such a classic spot to go, right? Absolutely. All right. All right, here. Let me start adding some onions for you. Woo! There Oops. we go. Beck, these spices smell terrific. It does smell really good. So... We have some things that you can add if you want, just to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit, such as sriracha. Maybe you like Frank's Hot. But we do have to put the Worcestershire and the Dijon mustard in. So let's see. Oh, I love Worcestershire sauce. Um, it's a tablespoon. And by the way, Worcestershire is not a city in Massachusetts. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Worcester. 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 All right. I just drove through Worcester. Did you? Yeah, I'm on my way to a gun quit. Oh, yes. All right. An old city. And now we have two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Excuse me. Let me get the oh teaspoon. God, this looks here. amazing. I actually put a little extra Worcestershire in. All right. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. There, we should have a little oh, bit of flavor. Every ingredient that went in here, I love. <laughs> I know. I wonder, I might make this tonight for the kids. You bring this home, there's enough here. That would be awesome if they would eat it, right? Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes we serve up lunch. This okay. is, kind of becomes lunch for everyone if out not, there. If not, I'm coming to your house tonight for dinner. You want to come? Let's see, Tuesday. I'm going to get to work early. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to add a little teaspoon of sriracha, and then you we should, should sample. Do you like sriracha? Uh, in doses. Okay. There I gave go. you two little doses Perfect. there. 
<laughs> it really smells good. All right, you want to serve it up? All right. Oops, I realized this bowl is to put the scraps in. Ooh, look at that. It lo almost looks like a little creamy. Right? All right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. All right. All right, here we go. Wow. That's really good. Mmm. Excellent. Yummy. I think the kids would like this. Mm. They would prefer ketchup. Oh, they want cheese on it. Oh. Mm. Okay. It's even better with the cheese. This is delicious. Marcy, we wish you were here to enjoy this. How's Take it going it out there in the water? It's going well, guys. Unfortunately, I just had to let every single one of these vessels, I had to let them go because of lack of sales. Oh, come on, you can oh. laugh. You can let them laugh. At, there it is. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. We're out on the water today with the head coach of Connecticut College. We are so excited to be sailing with the camels. We'll see you in a little bit.